We are here in Oslo and uh, this is uh, Espen, you've probably seen him in some of the videos. He's from Bolde actually and uh, he's here to explain a uh, charging solution for homes. Yes, uh, yeah. I'm right. trying. So, oh, yeah, okay. so uh, you probably have a lot to say, so yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, okay. I'm going to talk about a charging solution from Zaptec. This is a Zapp charger. I am Espen and I work in Office Link in Bolde, as you said. And you know, the last years there has been a lot of electric cars in Norway and hybrid cars. We actually sell about 40, 41% of all the cars have a plug-in. So we need a lot of chargers and the poor companies and many electricians say it can't be done. We don't have enough power. So you have to build maybe two chargers at the big block so they have to share it. But would you like to share a mobile phone charger so when you're going to charge your mobile phone you have to go to the charging station or you have to write up on a time timetable when to charge your phone no you'd like to charge your phone home and it's the same with the car you would like to charge the car back home so one now we're going to go to the fuse box and have a look at the fuse box and see oh this is built up so it came a fossil car so Sorry about this noise, but soon all this car will be electric and we don't have to have all this noise. So let's go and have a look at the fuse box. Here you can see the fuse box and you can see it's only one fuse. One 63 amp fuse. And this is enough for, well, 24 parking places, no problem, or maybe 12 parking places with 16 amps and 16 amps is the same as the Leaf uses and the e-golf well most cars have only 16 amp chargers so you can actually charge 12 cars at the same time on one fuse with the maximum load that they can have so if this was a traditional system you would actually have 30 of this for 30 cars and you would have a lot more. You will have 30 cables, you will have 30 uh, communication cables and you will have a lot of more stuff to communicate with the chargers. So when you use the subcharger everything is inside the subcharger. You only need one fuse here. That's what one of the things that make it unique. So let's go and have a look in the parking place on the charger and we can look at the cable and how things works. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but let's try to answer some of them. There is a lot of unique things about the sub charger, but this is one of them. Uh, this is the back plate. So when you need a new charger, you only put this plate on a wall. And this is part of the infrastructure. You only have one plate and then you put the charger on it. You connect it to the cable and just put the charger on here. So if I was to move to another apartment, I can just bring my charger and I can put it up, put it up another place and if somebody else move in they can just put a new charger in here and it finds the internet and we put in a new user so this is a part of the infrastructure and you can leave it you can put it up and it's ready for new chargers yeah so if we have a look here at the cable so this is the cable from the fuse box it's only one cable from the fuse box. And this cable runs through all the parking places. So if we were supposed to have an infrastructure for all these parking places, we just put this cable around all the places. So if I, if, if I was to move in here and I like a charger, well, I just connect this charger to the cable. And then I have 22 kilowatt charger. Not two kilowatt charger, as in a traditional charging system, or as in a lot of the traditional charging systems. So, when a people, somebody comes with the car, they just connect the car to the charging station, station, and they get power, and they get as much power as it's free in a cable. So all the cars share the power. But you know, they ain't same at the home, home at the same time. Somebody leaves, somebody goes to training, somebody goes to work, and when somebody goes, other car get the juice. And when they get full, it moves to the next car. And you can 
Everybody pays for their own energy. Somebody can get more power or less power. If you drive a lot, you can, well, this is only always 32 amps. And then you pay for 32 amps. Or maybe you just want 7 amps. And then you get 7 amps. So we can build the systems as you like it. Everything is <laughs> controlled in the sky. So everything that happens here goes to the cloud and then you can control everything in the sky. Well, let's see how easy to charge uh, Bjorn's car. So this is a tap charger and it can either be open or it can be closed. So if it's open, you just connect the cable. If it's closed, you have to ID identify yourself and you can do it by your phone or by an RFID or something so it gets to on your bill but in this case it's open so you just take the cable see the green light and you just take the cable put it inside like this then you walk up to the car and we yeah you know you can just engine serious you didn't know what did I know this and I <laughs> okay, let's talk. Okay. And then you just connect it. Okay, so we so can see inside. So we're supposed to get uh, whatever is available or something, right? Uh, ready to show. Okay, it adjusted 21 amp. Yeah. Uh, probably because someone else is. Uh, yeah. It just does a face balancing. Probably because someone else is charging yeah, right now. We have, we have a leaf over there. We have a. Uh, yeah. Ah. Huh. So, of course, if some of the other cars finish charging, then I will get more. And then if someone else plugs in, I will get less again. That's pretty smart. 